G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully keeping healthy and safe. Unfortunately on this side of the desk, I have seen better days as I have caught COVID. Now, I am on the road to recovery at the moment, so that's at least a good thing there. Now, I just wanna make a quick video as I am currently testing out the new AMD Ryzen 9 7950X and also the 7700X as well. Now, this is just to give a little bit more exposure to this topic as this is something to do with the new AM5 platform as I was actually shopping around for a new cooler to try and make it work with this new AM5 socket. Now, I want to make a big shout out to my local computer shop, the Computer Alliance, and also to the people that helped me out in the Computer Alliance was Alex and Greg. Thank you very much, guys. Now, what is what I want to talk about? Now, with the AM5, this is a great platform. This is a new platform. So this has nothing to do with the bad thing about it. This is just something that just happens in a transition phase and we just got to get used to it and just trying to get more exposure and more knowledge out there for some of the sales as well as for you guys out there. Just to know that there is something that you need to look at for the cooling. Now, with the cooling, now it is AM4 coolers that you'll be looking for. Now with a particular AM4 coolers, you do need to make sure, now this is one of the coolers that was recommended and it has been working very well with my testing as well, is that you need to first, whoop, sorry, is find the, the AM5 will have these brackets here, which you'll see. Now you don't wanna take those off because you do need those brackets. That's one thing I found on the very first cooler because that did not work, is because AM5, you cannot take those brackets off because you can't take also the inner bracket off because that's the socket itself. Now, what you need to find is a cooler, the AM4 cooler, that actually have these little mounting little holes that actually well, basically it latches on to the sides of these brackets here. I'll have a close up shop so you can actually see that. But these things here, so it can actually latch onto it and then you can then tighten it on. So you can't install any of this custom sort of bracket that requires you to actually flip the back of it to actually remove this back plate as you can't remove this back plate at all because once you remove this back plate, as you can see, I've it's only got four more screws, and that is actually for the socket itself. So you can't install any custom ones like that. You need to actually use these current ones, these brackets that actually have these two prongs that opens up. So you do need to find these coolers that actually have these two, sort of like a lever hole there, they can actually screw it in. So that's right. So the current one I'm actually using is this Corsair IQ, H150i RGB Pro XT3. So it's a long name. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just telling you this is what I was recommended and it has been working very fine. And through my testing on this 7950X, and I have put this on a lot of load, I think I've never seen it actually go past the 85 degrees mark, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's been very good. And this is a triple cooler as well. And hopefully it will be budget conscious. Anyway, I just want to bring this note to you guys and hopefully you find this video very helpful. If you did, even to support my channel, smash that like button for me and it does help me out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button on the bottom screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you in the next video.